Hello and welcome to SOAP UI tutorial. In this tutorial, we will understand about the JSON path assertions in SOAP UI. So let's go to Asana end-to-end -end test case demo that we had seen earlier and I'll open create a project request and we'll try to add the JSON uh, path assertion and explain what JSON path assertion is all about. Okay. So to add assertion, just go to the assertions and click on add an assertion. Now, if you see the property content, you will see the JSON path count. I'll hide the description there. So you have four JSON path uh, assertions there. So JSON path count, JSON path existence match, JSON path match, and JSON path regular expression match. If you want to read the description, just click on hide, uh, uncheck hide description. And you'll see JSON path count, what it means, uh, existence, match, and regular expression. So, what exactly um, all these uh, JSON path assertions is all about? So, basically, JSON path existence match verifies that particular JSON path that you will specify it exists in the response. It will verify that particular path, and then JSON path match actually verifies the values of the node. That you specify in the JSON uh, path match. So let's start with JSON path match. I'll select that and click on add and it will open JSON path match configuration window. Now we have already seen how you can write the uh, JSON path to get the node values. Okay, let me close this window, go to the response so that you can see what we are actually writing. Okay and here what we'll be verifying is we'll be verifying let's say we'll verify the name of the project okay so name if you see uh, data is the root node and then name is the child node of data okay so the json path will be pretty simple for that and we'll write that so we'll go to assertions again open json path so to start with root node dollar dot data and dot name okay so this will pick the name of the particular project okay uh, the name or uh, the value that is in this particular name node okay so if you click on select from current it will pick the value that is available at this particular node and if you click on test now it will cross check that this expected result matches with what is there in this particular node so this success message shows that whatever value is there at this particular json path matches with the expected value that you have provided here if you change any of the value here say for example i'm expecting two and click on test you will see an error comparison failed for the value at this particular path dollar dot data dot name it was expecting rcv academy demo project 2 actual was rcv academy demo project 1 so that's what json path uh, match assertion does okay and it's pretty helpful and pretty um, easy to understand and write so you just need to understand json path expression how you need to write those json path and don't worry about the complexity of json path writing and um, how to get the json path i'll prepare another tutorial and explain how you can create json path pretty easily okay so if you save this let me change it to one and click on save you can see this assertion is passing now the next json path assertion we'll be looking at is json path existence okay which is basically verifying that a particular json path exists in the response so if you click on add and you provide the json path i'll provide the same json path data dot name okay and if i select from current it will select it will provide me the value as true uh, so it will return either a true or false a billion value because it verifies the existence of that particular path if i say name one and select from current it will change to false because this json path expression doesn't exist in the response 
and that is why if you do select from current it returns the value as false because it can't find the value or this path in the actual scenarios expected result is what you'll be defining manually so for example i am whether i am expecting this json path to be present in the response and this you get from the documentation um, that you get when you are testing the apis okay so if the, the documentation says that this particular path should be present in the response then you say expected result as true and then test it if the test fails that means your test um, that the response doesn't contain this path and your test failed and this is the defect that you need to lock into the defect tracking tool and this needs to be fixed by the developers okay so it, as you can see here comparison failed for, for this particular path expecting was true but actual was false in the response it couldn't find this particular node or this particular, particular json path but if i change it to one then test it it will return the success message because response matches the content for this particular path so that's the example of json path existence match configuration we'll save this the next session we'll look at is json path um, count okay so if we click on add all right so for json path count what we'll do is we'll um, take another request or another response because here you can see i just have one uh, you know like value in uh, this whole data in the response if you see let me scroll down a little bit so there is just one um, dictionary in this particular data okay so what we'll take is we'll take some response wherein we have an array of elements within a dictionary so we can verify the count so what we'll do is we'll take the request get all projects in workspace because this will return um, a dictionary uh, which has an array so you can see the square braces okay so this this is an array and it has a couple of different values okay so let's understand this response first so i'll copy this and go to the chrome and here i have json formatter already so let me paste whatever i have copied i'll format and beautify and then go to the tree form okay so here you can see the data contains the five um, elements in it okay so data has uh, is an array which uh, contains five elements within this array okay so now with the json path uh, sorry the json uh, path count assertion will add this let me remove the existing one here and remove the regex as well and i'll add json path count again click on add right and now if you provide the json path expression so i'll say dot data and if you click on select from current it will give you the count as five because if you see in the uh, json formatter you will see that data is an array which contains five elements okay first second third fourth fifth okay so that is why and each element has three uh, items in it or three objects in it it's an, each element is a dictionary and each dictionary contains three objects within it okay so the json count what it does is it gets the it counts the actual elements or within the object so if i if you are expecting 10 elements within an object and you provide the expected count as 10 and click on test the assertion will fail because the comparison failed for path it was expecting 10 actual was 5 okay so that's another very good example of json path count so i'll change it to 5 and save it okay so we have covered three assertions json path assertion so we have covered json path let me hide the description we have covered json path match we have covered json path existence match we have covered json path count match the last one in the json path is the json path regular expression match so we'll add this one okay now json path regular expression match matches the details or the content of the json path um, node 
value based on the regular expression that you provide all right so let's understand or let's see the values here so here in the response let's see let's say we are going to verify the GID okay so I'm expecting any number in this particular GID okay so we'll provide a regular expression and it should be only number okay so we'll provide a regular expression which will contain um, the, the details of the numbers and then in the GID we are expecting that the GID should always be a number okay so add the assertion and say JSON path reg x match and I think I have already added let me cancel that so yep it's solid there so open this and here what we'll do is we'll say root node which is dollar dot data and because this is an array you need to provide the index okay so I'll say if I am looking for GID for the first element in this array so I'll just say zero and then dot GID okay and then I have to provide the regular expression for this GID so I'll say any value between 0 to 9 okay and start so that's the regular expression that I have provided so it will verify that GID contains the numbers okay and then if I select from current it will return true because this GID matches what is we, uh, what the response that we are getting in the GID field okay if I test it the there will be a success message and which will say response matches the content if I change it to anything else say for example if I change the expected to false okay and then test then there will be an error that GID the value that we are expecting in this particular node data 0 dot GID we were expecting not to be a numeric value okay but actually it's a numeric value and that's why the assertion failed so we'll save this so now you can see we have covered all four json path assertion I'll just re um, brief again so we have covered json path match we have covered json path count existence and regular expression match so hope you like the tutorial thank you very much for watching